our guys are excited to play because they know we're playing a heck of a team. Were you shocked that they went out and just uh, took care of business against uh, Northern Illinois? Not shocked. I mean, I knew, you know, you don't follow it as much as, you know, maybe you, know, you just don't follow it in the season. But, you know, knew they were having a heck of a year. And, um, and so didn't also know what to expect had a chance to watch that game and so um, you know was certainly impressed with the you know the way they played and how they how they won. Who did you see in their their, their schemes that could cause you you know some problems? You know I think uh, I think the strength of their team is you know they just that they've got a heck of a team. And I think they've got some guys that have the you know chance to be difference makers but I think that they truly have a strength in their team when you watch them you know offensively they got more than and it certainly starts with the quarterback, but you got, you know, I think you know, a number of different difference makers on offense and defensively. You know, I think they've got more than a couple guys. That, you know, if you can't just, it's not a group where you can just say, if we handle this guy, we'll be all right. And I think in, the, in you know, certainly in the return games, they've got some dangerous guys. So I think, I think the strength of them is they do have a strong team. What did you see from their defense in that NIU game to, to shut them down? Well, I mean, I thought they did a great job. You know, and I, you, you know, I didn't know that much. I mean, Lynch been having a great year, and you know, I mean, they got some plays on, but they, they kept them. You know, they made it hard on them, and they were, you know, really efficient in the red zone. They're efficient, you know, third down. They look good on. I mean, they, I think they got a good defensive scheme. I think, you know, it looks to me like the players know it, understand it, and trust it, so they're playing fast. Turning it around to you, you come in six and six, mm-hmm. but it could easily have been eight or nine. Yeah, um, a little bit of luck here right. and there, or, or perhaps you blame is you know the team should have won when they lost. But um, you know, what what are your strengths going to be apart from we know Aaron's going to be yeah. probably dominant. Yeah, and Tyler's so. had a great year. Yeah, and he's uh, you know right on the uh, heels of Larry. Uh, this, yeah, no, broken. we've got some guys you know like you mentioned you know offensively Tyler and I think you know Tommy's done some good things. You know I think you know if we're gonna you know, be successful. You obviously, you know, all the things in football, you know, the games that we've struggled in, you know, you got to protect the football, you know, and, and um, you know, if we can get, you know, be balanced, you know, offensively, you know, get, you know, run game going, and, and that'll be hard, you know, especially against some other schemes. But if, you know, you got to be able to um, convert on third downs, you know, they're really good in the red zone. If we get a chance to get down there, I mean, they're, they're red zone defense is, you know, tops in the country, you know, so they're, they're really good there. So I think any game, you know, when you get an opportunity to score points, you got to score because I think they are an explosive offense, you know, so if, you know, can't be turning into field goals when you get down there. And, you know, I think the special team, especially in the, you know, this bowl doesn't have as long a layoff, but when you've got a certain layoff, you know, the, the special teams and the, the swing of field position already, that, that, that'll that be significant in the game, I believe. When did you find out that Dantes was going to be uh, able to play this one? You know, kind of going through, and, and uh, Chris had actually remembered a couple years ago, so just kind of went through the you know, information and, and making sure that we were telling him the right thing, you know. And so um, we knew pretty early in the in the prep. So he, you know he's had a good stretch here to, to be able to get uh, you know to know he was going to be playing. What do you see his role being uh, on Thursday? We'll find out. You know, I mean, certainly you know receiver. I think he can help us on some special teams. How good is uh, Aaron? I think he's he's had an unbelievable season. You know, and and. Um, you know, I, I, you know, anytime you win, you know, those major awards, and and the, you know, he went up against, you know, there were some other guys that were really good football players in that, and I think, you know, he's done it by, you know, his play on the field, you know, not overhyped or anything. I think he's a heck of a football player. And it's, the thing I love about it is, you know, he's had great production, but it starts with the way he prepares, the way he works, you know, every day. Uh, kind of guy. So, first in the gym, so the guy. Oh, he is. He really is. First in the gym, first in the film. Um, and you watch him at a practice now. I mean, it, every day is, is game day for him. You know, I mean, he really enjoys football and he enjoys competing. He's a humble guy too. Yeah, he's a great. He's. Uh, you'd like to have your whole team like him. Got to ask any update on the questionable uh, wait and see guys? No, Jerry. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> he's scary. He's scary. Um, one last question for me. These games here have been uh, down on the wire. I mean, there's some crazy yeah, finishes right. over the last few years. Like the old holiday bowl. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, it's been one of the better bowl games of, uh, yeah. you know, the Yeah, we certainly hope to make it. You know, I know our guys are excited to be here and, and excited to play, you know, an opponent like Bowling Green. Like I said, you know, to be able to earn a 
right to play in another game and then to be able to play a conference champion and his you know, team that's got double-digit wins, that's a, that's a heck of an opportunity. And, and I know our guys are excited. And, you know, I think they were fired up getting in here and seeing, you know, this is my first time in Fort Field, but, you know, it's one of those places that uh, it's pretty easy to get the juices flowing.